Hi there, and welcome back to the Ask Julie Moss YouTube channel. On today's episode, we're just going to be discussing how we are able to keep our finger on the pulse with software and electronics moving so quickly. So if that's something you're interested in, keep watching this video. Hi there, I'm James. I'm one of the directors here at Astro Lumos. And on today's video, we're just going to be discussing a little bit more about how we're able to keep up with technology. Recently, me and the team, we went down to Re uh, Rochester in Kent, where Reiko, one of our, one of the systems we use for lighting control, um, is based. And we were able to get onto their advanced programming course. So we've been using Reiko now for a long time. We think their products are fantastic. And for the older people of the team, it was just a chance for us to sort of brush up on our existing skills, find out that there are some quicker ways um, and just more efficient ways that we can program customers' lighting systems. Um, and also just find out a bit more about some of the new features that they're bringing out into their programming side of things. For the younger members of the team, it was a chance for them to get hands-on with some of the new Reiko kit whilst learning and polishing up their programming skills. So fantastic day out for anybody who's looking to go down the advanced programming route. Something I haven't mentioned on this YouTube channel a lot is that actually here at Astralumos, we do have our own research and development team. Often clients will come to us with a unique problem and we will have to think outside the box and basically come up with a bespoke solution. Something uh, that really instantly sort of brings to mind is, um, well, I've got several examples. Um, however, one of, the more, one of the more recent problems, shall I say, is a client has a very um, oldie worldy house. So um, like thatched roof, uh, lath and plaster walls, um, exposed beams that sort of thing and instead of having modern light switches they actually wanted to keep the original baker light rocker switch so obviously these don't meet current wiring regulations so we were able to essentially take those light switches apart and modify them and it and make them work for modern day wiring regulations so that was quite a, an interesting problem where we got the team together, brainstormed a few ideas, um, worked out a way to modify these switches that would then be able to be signed off from a modern wiring day regulation perspective. So just something else that we're able to do that maybe not other electrical companies are able to do in the fact that we've got a combined 49 years of experience. So there isn't much between us we haven't seen. And when we do come across something we haven't seen, we generally find a bespoke solution to that unique problem. If you're struggling with something that's a little bit tricky or you've had somebody in and they've made, maybe just washed their hands of it because they can't understand it, do reach out. We'd love to give you a hand. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video.